Hi everyone, today I'm trying out a new foundation. Uh, I've been trying it out for a couple days now. CoverGirl Clean Matte. It is cream, creamy ivory, creamy natural. I'll have it in the description. Uh, it's a matte finish. It's not too bad. I've been using it for a couple days. The only thing I don't like is it's not my perfect match, which is okay to a point because I can always fix it with powders. You can make your foundations, you know, darker or lighter um, when you have the right powder. I don't mind the formula. It does dry down matte, which is okay. Obviously it says matte. Sorry about my crazy hair. I'm trying out three. I'm doing a, I'm gonna have a video up. I'm, t I'm testing three different root lifters. My favorite holy grail is Garnier Nutrice, the high rise root lifter. And today I'm trying out this new one. I don't know what the name is. It's Oway, O-U-A-I, volume spray, volumizer lifter, root lifter. So I'm trying that out. So far, it's okay. Uh, it left a little bit of a funny film on my hands. I only sprayed, I put a spray, it's not got a nice spritzer, here, 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 and a little in the back, and it did lift it pretty good, because I, I always dry my hair with my hands. I don't use a brush or anything, because of the, it's not that long. So I'll have a video up and saying which ones, and then I have another, uh, God, it's it's the bedhead one. It's over in the other room, so that one is decent. I think it's a little too heavy, but so anyways, let's get back to CoverGirl because I have the foundation and I have two cheekers. It's the only thing I could find in Walmart. My Walmart has a huge CoverGirl section, but the everything in my match is out of stock or it's been opened even though there's cameras right in my Walmart right in the aisle the crazy thing is you go to pick something out and it's you see the it's been broken open opened when as soon as you pop the top off of a pump you can see it's been used or it's all over the top these people in my Walmart I don't know I I'm there during the day I don't see people doing this it must be people at night because when I'm there during the day, there's not a lot of people. The lady's always stocking out. She's good about it. She said when they do put out products, she says they can't keep them in stock. Or she says she just spends half a day going through each rack of every product. Elf, CoverGirl, L'Oreal, everything. And she says it takes her half a day. She has to go through every couple days, each and every single two aisles and pull all the products that have been used and she has a bin and she says she can't believe the she said the waste every week is just she said it's just incredible she said and it's been getting worse so i said or well, maybe they need to have more even though it's on video and our walmart has a very big problem with stealing the theft they're in the paper all the time being caught <clears throat> Maybe they need some undercovers going over there at night. I mean, because they're open 24 hours. It could be in the middle of the night. Who knows? But they, she said it's a bin every week, which is ridiculous. So another thing, I like this formula. It is matte. And I have a hydrating e.l.f. primer on underneath. And I did moisturize with my Olay age-defining moisturizer. I do that first, let that dry, then I use the e.l.f. illuminator. The e.l.f. is really good. This is the first couple times I'm using it. I'm sorry, it's not illuminator. e.l.f. hydrating face primer. It's very nice. I almost mistook, mistook it for the green color corrector that they had right near it. Thank God I looked at it because I already have the green one. I've tried that I didn't particularly care for it. It was very sheer, but I used it up for six bucks. I mean, I used it up. With any foundation, because I have mild rosacea here, but I also have a lot of texture and I have a lot of pores. 
I was watching another YouTube video of a lady that I love. I'll put her link down below. Her name is Shell. Uh, oh my goodness. I just put her on my, I just added her to my YouTube channel, you know, what, that I watch. Shell. She's a dark skin lady. Very, 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 very good. She has over 100,000 people, I believe. I happened to see her in wasn't trending all of a sudden you know I just went to home and her her thing came up oh I was looking for Morphe the new Morphe foundation reviews on the fluidity which I'm going to buy it's coming out on the 17th hopefully I can get it before it's sold out and they also have the concealer for nine dollars I believe eight or nine dollars which I'm gonna grab I was watching her and she said because, I mean, her texture and her face, she has acne scars. She has very dense texture. Uh, it's, and everything looks beautiful on her. She uses a thick, dense tart. It's bigger than a kabuki brush. It's brown handled. She had a link. Went in and it sold out. And she said in the video, she says that because she recommends that they, they can't keep it online. It's just... So I'm like, oh, so tart. I wonder if it would be an Ulta, but who who knows, right? She said, take your foundation, a heavy foundation brush. This is the only one I really have. It cosmetics doesn't have a number. It's their foundation brush. She said, you want it to be stiff, but not too stiff. You want it to be able to move. She says, take your foundation. She says, stamp it where you really need it. Now she doesn't use a beauty blender, rarely, because she said it shears out her makeup. But when she puts on her foundation, with that tart brush, it just, it doesn't leave her face looking cakey, which is crazy. And I've tried using this brush. As she said, don't swirl, especially if you have a lot of texture. I have tried using this brush to not get texture i've used very little on here i've wiped some off and i've tried what i gotta do is because it sits on my face so heavy and she uses tons of different tons of different foundations her videos are amazing i'll put her name in the description box what it is is i have to go back over with a beauty sponge it just sits on my face too weird. It doesn't dry down. I don't know why I can't get the results similar to hers, but that's okay. And she uses a lot of powder, but her foundation, she'll use it and her foundation doesn't look cakey. It's got to be the brush. So the brush, I have to keep trying to get. I'm going to stop at Ulta and see if they have the brush. I think the brush probably is around $30. I'm going to see online if they have it. I'm going to stop in the store probably today or tomorrow and see if they have it. I want to get a feel of it. I also know that Sigma and Morphe makes really good foundation brushes. But the one she's using, it just, she said it's the only, she said if anything ever happened to it, she'd cry because she uses it constantly. It's the only really brush that she uses. Now, I had to go like this because what happens is my makeup, like I was saying with the brush, and it's I only use that brush, so maybe if I do try other brushes, it just sits on my face really, really cakey. And my holy grail, the one I use, the foundation I use the most, as you guys always know, and I'm always bragging about it, and I'm always using it, is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. My perfect match is Shell Ivory. I was using Soft Ivory. It was a little yellowy on me, and I was mixing it with some other foundations. The I was mixing it with the some Maybelline that was a little more on the pink side. But to me, this is perfect. Shell Ivory. It's my perfect match. It's got just enough pink. It's hard to see on my monitor, but it's got just enough pink. 
And this one is the Creamy Natural, which has just a hint of the pink. It's not too bad. And I notice it looks, it looks pretty good. So you always blend your foundation down your neck so you don't get that mask looking. Try to go around your ears. Try to go around your jawline really, really well. This emphasizes my upper lip, which is always dry and has some texture. This does emphasize a little bit more than the photo focus right here, right here. But I have texture. I'm an older lady. I'm in my late 40s. There's nothing I can really do that's going to change that. No matter how much I moisturize and exfoliate and do everything because I have to be careful because of my, my mild rosacea, I can really irritate myself and make my face look crazy. Okay, what I'm going to do is let me set my face with Cody Airspun. I have the translucent translucent extra coverage because it's the only one I can seem to find. Everything else, the regular translucent is always out at my Walmart and online. I'm going to try to go up to Target today and see what I know I have to put on eyebrows. This is just for demonstration. I know I look crazy without them, but this is just a set so I could put on the cheekers, the blush. So, because I have to put on some under eye concealer, I'm going to use powder. I've been using liquid Maybelline, uh, what, mild? Okay, now, let me dust some of that off. I'm just going for a really quick look. It's already after 11 o'clock, and I want to get out of here by noon. Let me dust some, dust some of that. I just wanted to set it. I stamp you don't want to swipe too much because you'll just swipe it right off. Okay. Now, the cheekers. It's the little cheekers, three fifty in Walmart. I have two colors. They're like this. They come with that little brush that I wish they wouldn't put in brushes and just give us more product. This one is... This one is, the thing is these were the only two there and they look so similar. One has a hint more of brown, one has a hint more of pink. This has more of a hint of brown. And the number on it is, let me say the number, I'll have that in the description. But the number is uh, 180 brick. I know it says brick rose. And this has a little bit more brown. This has a little bit more brown in it. And this one has is very nice. It has some nice pink. I know it's hard to see in the monitor. But this one is 103 Natural sh Shimmer, which I don't see any shimmer. This is more pink. This is more brown. I'm not sure if you can see it in the monitor. Yeah, this is more brown. And this is more pink. I like them both. They look almost exactly the same, which is crazy. So I'm going to use the shimmer. Even though it says shimmer, I didn't see any shimmer. It's got a little bit of fallout depending on your brush. If I don't use a mineral brush, I have one that's very dense. I used it the first day and this, it, the mineral brush is very dense and it went whew, so I'm just using a regular fluffy brush, bang some out, put some on the cheek. I use a stamping motion and then I sweep it just a little bit after you get a little bit of an apple on your cheek. It's very nice. It didn't pick up a lot of texture. It doesn't have any, you know, splotchy patches But 350. I'm very happy. I wish they would give you more product and get rid of those crappy brushes because none of us use them. I guess they're good for travel, but I've traveled and I've never used their brush, their, you know, a brush from an eye palette or anything else. Just skip that. Put more of your cost into the product because brushes, I mean, you can buy brushes from Elf and Wet n Wild for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. 
we don't really need oof sometimes this gets a little hair on me yeah sometimes it loses a hair or two and this brush is just i couldn't even tell you um just something a brush that i've had for years that was that was cheap i can't even tell like that it's rubbed off so much so there you go i always use a little bit because i have rosacea and i don't really need a lot of red in my face but there's the blush and there's the foundation i know i look crazy without eyebrows so it i like i like a full i wish i could get full coverage a lot of products just the, the fuller coverage they are they just sit on my skin and they emphasize a lot of texture whether it's matte or it's dewy so i'm just gonna try to use that brush i'm gonna try to get that tarp brush and see what happens and and then i'll update this video and see if that makes a difference in my application of my foundation so thank you very much for watching see you next time in the video thank you bye